Assalamu alaikum and welcome to day two of the Thought Leader series as part of DHCA's Participation in Arab Health 2021. Uh, we have with us today a very distinguished guest, Dr. Abdul uh, Karim Al Ulama from Al Jalila Foundation. Dr. Abdul Karim uh, is the CEO of Al Jalila Foundation and a member of the board of directors. In 2012, he led the team that launched the philanthropic organization dedicated to advancing medical education and research in the UAE. Prior to this position, Dr. Abdul Karim was executive director of the Center for Healthcare Planning and Quality, the independent regulatory body of Dubai Healthcare City, where he was responsible for setting and upholding healthcare standards. Dr. Abdul Karim obtained his bachelor's degree in general medicine from UAE University and a master's degree in healthcare management from the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. He is a graduate from the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid program for leadership development young leaders and Dubai holding future leaders program lead on. Dr. Abdul Karim was previously a member of the faculty of medicine and health sciences uh, at the UAE University. Dr. Abdul Karim, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, what are you looking forward to seeing most at Arab Health and how does the show benefit Al Jalila Foundation? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, first of all, we are very happy to be back. Yes. After uh, the 2020 pandemics, COVID-19. I think it's amazing and uh, astonishing to see, mashallah, how Dubai is working and ensuring the safety Resilient. of everyone. And you yes. know how, mashallah, Arab Health is a huge, huge event. And mashallah, there everybody's safe. It's, I feel very happy, by the way, to be here today. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, I mean, we miss these you. big events. We miss the face-to-face -face interactions. Agreed. Yes, 100%. And for us as a foundation, it's a big opportunity because Arab health for us means education, learning, means networking with the thought leaders in the world and the yes. medical field. So we do, for us, it's a very huge opportunity to be here every day because yes. we meet new people, we learn, we make new friendship, and also at the end, we as a foundation, we support research, education, and treatment. We find always new partners here. Wonderful. Um, can you share with us the journey of Al Jalila Foundation so far, and uh, maybe give us a few uh, highlights about its role in positioning the UAE at the forefront of medical innovation? So Al Jalila Foundation was established to transform lives and to position the United Arab Emirates at the forefront of medical innovation. We have a very strong governance. Our uh, chairman of the board of trustees is Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum. We have Her Excellency Dr. Rajal Gurk, chairperson of the board of directors and yes. member of board of trustees. And she is a well-known, she is considered yes. by Forbes, the strongest woman in the, uh, in the Arab world. Yes. So we also, under the board of directors, we, we have three important committees. We have the scientific advisory committee. They put for us a strategy where to invest in medical research. We have the Audit, Risk and Compliance Committee, which is an internal committee to yes. make sure everything as per the international standards. And we have Fund Management Committee. We, we have an endowments, like an yes. international foundation. Yes. And their role is to grow our endowments so we can do more programs. And also we have Deloitte is our third party auditor. So this governance helps the foundation to be on the right pathway to support medical research, medical education, and treatment. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Al Jalila Foundation has funded hundreds of research studies so far, mashallah. Yeah. Um, can you share some of your favorite or some of the highlights? So we as a foundation, uh, back in 2013, we did the research, what are the common diseases of the United Arab Emirates? Yes. Uh, UAE is considered like any developed countries. We don't have communicable diseases. We have non-communicable diseases. Yes. And mainly obesity, diabetes, mellitus, cardiovascular disease, cancer, and mental health. Yes. So we give research grants into these five areas. Last year, in the pandemics, COVID-19 and emerging diseases come very strong to the medical research world. Yes. So we added emerging diseases and we give grants for scientists to do research about COVID-19. Great. Totally, we have given more than 100 seed grants with a budget of 28 million dirhams. And I think we really laid the foundation for medical research, environment, and culture in the United Arab Emirates. Definitely. All business was going down and research was going up during yeah. the pandemic. And there was a, a, a huge shift in the, even the approach to getting research approved and the expediting mm -hmm. that, that was going on. Um, what are the biggest challenges that you face when trying to attract investment and research? 
So, alhamdulillah, uh, United Arab Emirates is a very philanthropic country. We have, mashallah, lots of generous donors. Yes. And alhamdulillah, uh, some of them who are thought leaders in their, their business, they, they, they have already research and development in their business. Yes. So they really came forward and supported uh, the research because, you know, when you invest in medical research, you don't expect income or outcome same day. Not so like treatment. You treat, you see the patient's happy next day. Yes. But with medical research, it takes 20 years. Yes. So we were lucky, alhamdulillah, to have very visionary, generous donors who supported our uh, mission for building the culture of research in the United Arab Emirates. Alhamdulillah, with their generous support, we built the Mohammed Barash Medical Research Institute. It's yes. a 300 million dirham investments. Mashallah. And it's an iconic building. And it's, it's, um, it's the way that we position Dubai and the UAE in the medical research because we have such a huge facility for medical research. We support talents in the medical research. We give grants. We give scholarships. Yes. You know, through our seed grants, we supported more than five, uh, 450 students in the medical research. We published more than 351 articles in peer-reviewed journals. We, uh, our scientists participated in lots of international exhibitions. Yes. So alhamdulillah, we can say that we, we did some advancement and we had an impact in the medical research in the UAE. Um, mashallah, that, that, that sounds amazing and uh, like a completely robust system from A to Z. Yeah. Um, um, what can be done to improve research uh, investment levels in the UAE? If people are looking always for more funds and sometimes people maybe complain that there are no funds, but maybe they don't know how to access them. So, so the best way is, uh, you know, I always believe if you have track record of success. Yes it will attract more investments and more support. And we as a foundation, alhamdulillah, we have that. Yani we, you know, when we started giving the grants back in 2014, only a few scientists applied for our research. Okay. Today, mashallah, when we open the research grants, more than, 100, yeah, more than 120 yes. scientists apply. Yes. We have a very robust system. So whenever uh, we receive the application for medical research, it's first verified by our scientific advisory committee. Then it goes to our 82 peer reviewer scientists from around the world who will choose the best research paper to be uh, to have the grants. Wow, that's uh, very stringent as well. Yeah. But of course, this will lead to a higher uh, caliber of products yeah. in the end. Um, we always hear about international collaborations between Al Jalila Foundation and other entities. Um, what is the significance of these partnerships? It's very important because we learn, you know, in the, in the medical research world, the word collaboration is very important. We as a foundation had a very strong uh, relationship with uh, Harvard. We sent UAE nationals to be trained in Boston and Harvard uh -huh. Medical School in the master program. We had a partnership with the Carter Center. We did the, the fellowship in, in the mental health journalism. Recently, we had a visit of uh, His Excellency Dr. Brown, the president of Boston University, where we as a foundation exploring partnership with this very well-established university. So we are very eager to have this form of partnership. So we give more chances for our young, talented students to go and continue their education. Yes, wonderful. It's very important to foster this culture of research among students from a younger age and an earlier yeah. stage. Uh, that way when they um, graduate they are already ready for the market um, so how do you attract uh, and train top talent in this competitive environment so absolutely it's very competitive you know everybody yes. looks for best talents especially in the medical research so and in Dubai yes, yes absolutely yes. so as you correctly said we started from the beginning so we as a foundation have the the medical scholarship program mm -hmm. where we give a scholarship to students mm -hmm. to become doctors doctors to become scientists, nurses, allied health professionals. Yes. Alhamdulillah, so far we have given more than 70 scholarships. And we are very proud of our uh, graduates because they are always at the top of, of the class. Inshallah, that's wonderful. So you, you, you get them young. <laughs> yes, Alhamdulillah, yes. Because then, you know, they, they can do a bachelor's degree, master program, yes. PhD, then they can full established scientists with us. Yes. Um, what are the objectives of Algeria Foundation over the next five years? 
So uh, we will continue giving scholarships. We'll continue giving uh, research grants. And all grants. information is on your website, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. For anyone who's interested. Yes, 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 yes. Website. So we are on all social media platforms. Yes. Also, they can approach us. So we we have a very strong treatment program called Awan, where we treat poor patients inside the United Arab Emirates to have access to quality health care. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, this year when we looked at the numbers of the treatment, we noticed that 80% uh, of our treatment budget went into cancer patients. Yes. You know, unfortunately, in the UAE, every year there is a new 4,500 new cancer patients. Currently, there is around 19,000 cancer patients inside the United Arab Emirates. So it's a it's a it's a, an issue. Significant number. Yeah. Yes. I think it's today it's the third uh, cause of death inside the United Arab Emirates. Worldwide is the second wo uh, cause of death. And the as per the the new papers, they anticipate that cancer to be the first cause of death worldwide. So for us to be able to do something in this space, we with the support of the leadership. We are building a cancer hospital, the, yes. the Hamdan Bar Rashid uh, Charity Cancer Hospital. Yes. And it will be the first of its kind in the UAE. It will be a comprehensive cancer care hospital. There will be center of excellence for diagnosis, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, wow. surgery, gamma Mashallah. knife, palliative care. Yes. All of that under one roof. MashaAllah. That, Masha that sounds like a wonderful initiative yes. and, and uh, very well needed in the society. Um, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, thank you. I think uh, we, are, we are very happy and proud to be inside Dubai Healthcare City, where it is really a destination for healthcare. And we hope that we can really transform lives in the United Arab Emirates. Likewise. Truly a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Shukran. you for joining Shukran. us.